Hey my lovelies, welcome back to the channel. I want to start this episode off by saying a lot of you have been asking about my Onyx off-road little beanie right here. You can actually get one of these from Onyx when you sign up for an elite membership. I will leave the link in the description below. Make sure you click this link. This is the only way you're going to be able to get this hat is from clicking my link from the description below. You're not going to be able to find it on the website. You're not going to be able to find it from anyone else. So get your cozy hat. I'm excited. It's going to keep me warm in the hammers. But anyway, today we have YOLO in the house and we are going to be answering your questions that you asked us from the last episode. So let's get a little work done and then let's get answering your questions. All right, so we are back, back again. The duo for Nessie. <laughs> <laughs> King of the Hammers 2024. No, so Yolo came in a couple of days ago. How are you doing? Feeling great. Yeah. Feeling good. She's been getting stuck in there, just going with the flow, thank goodness, because we were supposed to leave a couple of days ago. We haven't, but hey, that's how things go. We're getting things done in the shop, getting things going. We'll get loaded up today and you know, but we'll be on the road tomorrow. Exactly. Also, it's pretty much a lake right now on the lake bed. So we don't want to be there right now. <laughs> We don't want to be swimming. No, no thank you. <laughs> I know although Nessie is the Loch Ness Monster, uh, yeah, no, that was a really bad joke, but whatever. <laughs> so today we're going to be answering your questions that you have asked us uh, before heading off for King of the Hammers. And I'm still going to try and get the content out three times a week for you guys. We're just going to start with the questions. And the first one is, is Nessie going to run hammers in the race this year? Yes, she is. We're going to be running the 4500 Everyman Challenge and uh, it's on February 2nd. That's a Friday. And uh, yeah, she gonna be in it. That was, yeah, that was a good question. Because you never know with me, I guess. Hey, you never know. <laughs> what are the plans? Okay, the next one is how did you decide your co-driver? It's always a difficult complicated decision to be honest with you i am not a professional racer so i am not in that whole realm of racers yet i'm planning to but um i have actually followed yolo for many a year and she actually inspired me to get on the road along with Lightbright and um hustle in rome that was the first honestly that was the first apparel i purchased from from anyone in this sort of career. And um, yeah, she just has experience and I've seen it and I've watched her. So yeah, we got this. Heck yeah. So I just thought, you know, why not? I know there's been a couple of uh, female teams out there and I thought, well, why not? The car doesn't know what gender you are. So we're just gonna go out and have fun and do as best that we can because that's, the whole point of this, if you're not having fun when doing it, don't do it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay, um, how did you two meet? We love your dynamic. Oh. I know. Do we do good together? I think we do. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I think we have so far. Yeah. 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 So we met on the good old internets. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been several years. Yeah, it's been about four or five years even. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. Mm-hmm. So now we actually get to see each other in the physical realm. Mm-hmm. Do some good stuff together. Yeah. And uh, I think we're gonna make a good team. I think we are. We've been trying to hook up um, the past two years on trying to do something like this. We were looking at the Rebel Rally. The timing in just didn't work out for us, but now we're, we're finally getting to do something together. So yeah, we met via Instagram. <laughs> I meet all the best people <laughs> online. YOLO on Instagram, Walter on Match.com. If you don't know that story, I'll leave the link in the description below for the video that you can hear all about that. I'm gonna have to watch that one. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch it. Okay, the next one. What is your goal and strategy for the race? Let me hear your goal and strategy. Ooh, goal yeah. and strategy. Well, I believe the goal is to finish the race, right? That that would be an incredible 
feat is to get to the finish line. For sure. And the rig to be still together and to get us there. Um, I think our strategy really is to make good time on the lake bed so we have mm -hmm. plenty of time in the rocks. And I think that we keep a good pace and we're not racing anyone else, but just surviving this crazy course called yeah. King of the Hammers, right? <laughs> you know? <laughs> just making it work. Yeah, I totally agree with you on the, on the keeping the pace. So I've really been trying to figure out um, what mile per hour I'm going to be kind of keeping myself within because everyone sets off on that desert lap with like all gun ho and um, that's where I saw last year in my little 53 miles that I managed to get a lot of people just broke, tires gone, upside down. I think it's the adrenaline. I think it's that whole mindset of the desert, just go fast in the desert. But everyone always tells me, you don't win in the desert, you win in the rocks. And I love rock crawling. This is my forte. That's where I think, <laughs> I'm gonna say this now, uh, and I might regret it, but I think we might shine a little more in the rocks because that's more of what I, I've done. That's more of my background, not going fast. So I think I'm gonna try to keep it Honestly, it sounds slow, but remember, I am a solid axle vehicle. I'm not a trophy truck. So um, we're gonna kind of keep it 35 to 65 within that realm. Just keep it nice, keep it going, you know, kind of do that. So I think you're you're definitely right with, uh, with that pace thing. And the goal, of course, of course is to finish, right. but <laughs> Honestly, for, for me personally, the goal is to have fun, see what this vehicle can do, and uh, yeah, just create a new friendship and a new bond and, and see what we can do. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, get some good experience on this course. and Get some really, seat time in. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Which I was trying to do this year, and well, last year, but that accident threw me off, so. Whatever, seat time on the race course, seat time off the race course, it's all seat time. So, um, how's your back? My back is good. Uh, the bone has been fine for almost three months now. So that's been completely fine. It's really just been the muscles. And I have a feeling the day after, like every other racer, it's just gonna be a little sore, but that is such as life. And that's with everyone. Everyone's gonna be a little sore the day after. So we're gonna be doing some yoga. Yeah, and some stretching. She's gonna make me do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, ooh, what food and drink um, are you gonna have on race day? Are you gonna skip breakfast, eat a hearty breakfast, power bars? What are we gonna do? That's what are you gonna question. do? That's a good question. I would I would probably eat light that morning. I yeah. don't think I wanna eat real heavy. No, someone tried to give me a burrito last year <laughs> and actually put it in the car and I didn't eat it at all. Yeah. It's so nerve-wracking. Nerves are going and it's just, no, it's not a good idea to be a full belly. What about the night before? Are you gonna fill up on like a pasta, carby thing, <laughs> keep you through the day? I think carbs would be good. Nothing too, we don't wanna have, we don't need beans and some like super greasy food. Nothing that's gonna like upset our stomachs the next day. Yeah, I don't feel like throwing <laughs> up in my own no. health. I'm good, I'm good. Um, what about in the car? What are you gonna carry in the car? I like to carry a couple like granola bars. Yeah. Something easy I can just grab and stick in my mouth and they stop at one of the pits or something. Okay. Anything like that. Um, I usually bring a couple energy blocks, you know, like runners energy blocks. Yep. So I'll have those on board. I try to find goo packets. Those work really well too. They do. Yeah. They get any, but goo, the blocks are easy. Yeah. Just pop them in. It's like yep. eating a gummy. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, I most probably will eat pretty good the night before, uh, only because I have type one diabetes. So I gotta, um, it's gonna be very interesting in this race uh, on how to manage all of that. I think when your adrenaline goes really high, you gotta be careful um, because your glucose levels shoot all the way up. And a lot of people tend to take insulin. And then once you get into a group of everything, it comes down pretty quickly and you don't want it to crash. That's like the worst thing that could happen. I hate having low glucose. So, uh, cause I will have to pull over and wait until that comes back up again. But to be honest with you, I'm just gonna have my 
my glucose gummies. I'm gonna have a couple of bars. May have a chocolate bar in there just in case. Um, and Maddie came up with a good idea for the glucose gels is to stick them up onto the roof. And breakfast wise, I don't think so. I might have like a little granola bar or something, but nerves. Mm -mm. Yep, I'm good. Okay, this is a good one. What are your competitive goals beyond KOH for 2024? Um, and will you do additional Ultra 4 races if KOH goes well? That's a good question. That is a good question. What are your goals beyond KOH? What are you up to this year? Uh, I've been asked to do the Nora race again. Nice. So there's a possibility of doing that. But beyond that, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing for 2024. That's usually the way it goes at the beginning of every year. I'm like, yeah. what's going to happen? And then it gets filled up with all kinds of fun stuff. So yeah, fun, fun adventures, fun, adventures. fun stuff, races. And Are we going to see um, you a little more on your YouTube channel? Well, I will be honest. Walter, yes, and you, but yeah. mainly Walter, Walter, has really been pushing me to start making YouTube videos and be consistent about it. Yeah, what do you guys think? I think it's a definite <laughs> yes. I think the world that we live in today is not, is kind of pulled away from TV and everyone's watching YouTube. You can find anything on there. I mean, I watch fishing videos, cooking videos, interior design, uh, Scottish video, like it, there's yeah. everything on there. So yeah, let's, let's get, let's be a Walter for YOLO and let's all get on her. <laughs> More YouTube. Well, what about you? What about you for the year? Oh, me for the year. Yes. I even forgot we were answering the question there. <laughs> I was like rambling. Um, so I am planning on doing two or three more races after King of the Hammers. We're going to see how King of the Hammers goes. There is a race not far after that. I may as well just say it, the mid 400. I would love to do. Um, that's the whole reason why I built this thing to begin with. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how everything goes. You know, see how Nessie does, um, the timing, the financial part of it. But not only are we going to be doing a uh, couple more races throughout the year but we also I will be posting my schedule up after I come back from King of the Hammers it's pretty packed as always and it'll be uh, available on the website so you guys can check it out have you changed your training or competition strategy or your equipment since your injury no not really I think the yeah no seats are the same everything's the same so my injury didn't happen in that seat it happened in a side-by-side -side and it was a freak accident um, and I just feel pretty comfortable with everything in her. And also, I'm just not a very good passenger, okay guys? I like to be in control. So if something like that happens, it's just, it's me. Like, I did it, you know what I mean? So, no, nothing's changed. I feel like the car is in pretty good stead, so I'm excited. Uh, which lap do you feel will test you more, the desert or the rock? Oh. That's a good question. Uh -huh. We may have different ideas on this one. Well, I would say we probably definitely do. Uh -huh. Because obviously, the desert I shouldn't have to get out for. The rocks are another scenario. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be hiking all over the place and doing a lot of groundwork. So I definitely think that's going to be my testing ground. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've done a lot of recovery scenarios and it's mainly been in the woods in with trees available. So yeah, it's gonna be unique to pick good rocks to wrap those toe straps around yeah. us out. So yeah, I think that's gonna be my point. Yeah, for me, <laughs> I think it's the desert. I am not scared of the desert. I just don't quite, I don't have that good relationship with the desert yet. My first introduction was off the start line last year, King the Hammers, and then I've never gone out again. <laughs> so uh, my second outing is gonna be this week when we're pre-running. And I, I have a feeling after pre-running the desert loop, I'm gonna feel a lot more comfortable. I'm just not used to it. It's like going rock crawling for the first time. You just kind of freak out a little bit or you're a little uncertain and you're not confident, so. 
yeah, I'm not confident at all in the desert, even although we did pretty good last year. Once, like 30 minutes in, I felt pretty comfortable. I was still white knuckling hard, but yeah. There, there's a lot to learn, you know, when you're especially chasing other cars and you can't see anything in front of you and you know you've got to just go through it. Oh yeah. That throttle. Yes. You gotta, you gotta um, trust your co-driver when they're like, just keep going straight. And you're like, I can't see anything. Go Doing go. this, <laughs> like my my visor's dirty and it's not. It's just dirt. So yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, it's desert pretty good. rocks. Good combo though. <laughs> um, how do you physically prep for being in the car for so long? Lots of stretching. I have to. I get so stiff if I don't. You are a stretcher. Yes. Yeah. Stretching for sure. I brought my yoga blocks with me. I got a yoga mat with me. Yep. I got a nice fifth wheel that I can do stretch out on I and get off rooms. I've got some fresh oranges. I'm gonna do some squeezed orange juice in the mornings. Nice. Take mm -hmm. my, you know, all my immune boosting stuff so I'm feeling nice and healthy, my brain is functioning, and I think that's it. Oh, probably, I will probably, I don't know about you, but I will probably get an IV. A lot of the racers do the, yeah. the IV thing the day before, and doing five days in Baja last year for the Nor 1000, that, two of the days I didn't do IVs, and three of them I did, and I noticed a huge difference with my muscles and soreness. The next day, really, really helps. Yeah. And you don't have to pee as much. You stay hydrated, you don't have to drink as much water. Yeah. Your body is nice and like ready to go. Wow. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I wonder, how, do, how have I, what have I done physically? I've done a lot of uh, PT exercises. I've been keeping them up with my back. But honestly, I'm kind of just seeing this as a long day of wheeling. Like normally when I go out wheeling, it's a good at least six or seven hour day. You know, so I'm just kind of treating it the same, going out, having fun, um, being super cautious, but physically wise, I mean, I've been in the garage for like eight to 12 hour days very recently and uh, just lifting stuff and doing stuff like that. And I really wanted to go back to the gym before this, um, but I am prone to going to the gym and then pushing it too hard and injuring myself. Normally my lower back, so I've not wanted to do that at all. <laughs> but I've had plenty to do in here and uh, just getting good sleep is like a huge thing for me personally. If I have good sleep, I can do anything for the rest of the day, but solid. Yeah, and also I've been jumping in and out of this thing <sighs> like a freaking leapfrog a million times a day. So. Just keeping, I've been keeping active that way. Not exactly the program I was going for, but hey. I feel like I'm super ready for it. So, yeah. Will you have merchandise to sell at King of the Hammers? No, I will not. No merchandise this year, um, but there will be a lot of merchandise available as of March on the website, but I'll keep you guys updated with that. And there'll be new stuff as well. So I'm excited about that. Last year's goal was to start the race. What is your ex expectations for this year? Have fun, stay safe. That's it. If we finish, heck yeah, of course, of course we <laughs> want that. Everyone yeah. wants that, but expectations. I mean, I, th I think Nessie's pretty solid. Yeah. So I think Nessie has it. It's all gonna be on the lines that I take, whether we, we whether we get to the end or not. Now let's have a good time. Let's enjoy this. Number one. Because if not, what are we doing it for? Exactly, exactly. This is a good question. <laughs> We're gonna go from kind of serious to, uh, oh, this is a serious question. What you gonna do if you need to number two? Oh gosh. <laughs> I hope I don't have to. I think we're not even our bodies are gonna shut that off yeah that's not that's what i'm hoping because uh what you gotta do if you got a number two pull over there will be no pooping in the car <laughs> that's something i put my foot down on 
<laughs> no peeping in the car, okay? Good muscles. Hold it in. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I just don't, my body personally I know is not gonna be like, oh cool, you're in a race car, let's go. Like, yeah. it's gonna be like, oh, what's happening today? <laughs> All right, not today. <laughs> it's, what, I'm being serious. Oh, uh, I love that question. Okay, when and where can we watch the event if we're not able to make it to King of the Hammers ourselves? They have a live feed, right? Yes, they do. They do. They do. You guys can watch tracking where we're at at all times, uh, see all the commentator. Yeah, they definitely, I think it's on King of the Hammers or is it the Ultra 4 race? It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. I will... Uh, before, so the week of the race, I'll make sure that the link for that is in the description so that you guys can just um, pop on there. I think there is a fee to watch that live feed. I believe it's something like $35 if you want to watch the race. Um, yeah, I think it's a year you get to watch. I think all it's access the, ultra to the whole year. Yeah, all the Ultra 4 races, um, which is pretty cool, especially I think it's worth it. If we're going to be racing again, you know? <laughs> Might want to watch us on the next one. Um, but yes, you can definitely watch it live. I know my family are going to be watching from all over the different sides of the world that they're all on. So yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think there were a lot more questions, but they were kind of very similar to the ones that we uh. answered just now. So yeah, that's pretty much about it in a nutshell. Feeling good. Oh yeah. We have a couple of things. We have like probably a day's worth of work to get done. Just very small things like finishing the back wall, um, getting the seats back in, seat belts put in, just little things like that. Little bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. <laughs> you got any worries about going into this at all? I don't think so. I think we're gonna, I feel confident. I feel confident yeah. in your driving. What's the worst case scenario <laughs> for you? Worst case scenario? Yeah, like that's what's something that you're like, oh, God, I, really don't, I really hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> other than breaking the vehicle. I mean, yeah, other than something really, like a really nasty crash of some sort. Yeah. You know, there, there has been instances of people crashing into motorcyclists that are out there that cross the race course. Yeah. And deaths have happened and really bad injuries. So I hope not to have anything like that. Yeah, I hope everyone is safe in the race. Yeah. Um, I have I've never taken a tumble. I almost took a tumble last year, like very, very close to the point where I closed my eyes, hung on to the steering wheel. It was just like, just open your eyes when you're on your lit and you'll be fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, no just, tumbles, that'd be, that'd be good. No tumbles would be great. Anyways, that is it for today. We're gonna get to work and uh, get to packing up and head out to the lake bed. There's still gonna be uh, multiple videos uploading per week and there's gonna be shock tuning on this one all at the same time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We cannot wait for you guys to come along with us and thanks for watching.